Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Last time we did a main story quest, so this time we have quite a fair bit of side quests to take care of. And also some materials that we're going to have to hunt down, so it's unfortunate. But starting off, let me see, I'm sure there was something I saw that was important somewhere that I should probably do. Oh, over here. Great Bridge Repairs. The Tabantha Great Bridge has fallen apart to the point that travelling merchants fear crossing it. The bridge needs a lot of reconstruction. Bring the supplies needed to do the job. With your supplies, the bridge repairs were finished, much to the relief of everyone who needs to cross it. Merchants are likely to transport more goods back and forth across now. Discount on West Hyrule 10%, which will be useful for more side quest stuff. Cultivating Warm Saflina. As a customs, as a custom as they are to the cold, even Rita get goosebumps soaring at high altitudes. Perhaps it would be, it would help to cultivate plants with warming properties. Unfortunately, the crop failed, as it was ill-suited for the climate of Rito Village. However, in the process, the farmers thought of another ingredient that could heat the body with, at high altitudes. Teba gets two extra hearts. Also, this stable that has stuff for me now, apparently. So let's buy some of that. I guess one of the quests that I was doing needed some warm saflina, but I used it on that, so... Now I need to get more of it. Now, let me see. I think I needed more swift carrots, but I need to wait for the shop to open up some more. Plum tuckered out. The plum tree tranquility watching over Kakariku Village has begun to look less vibrant of late. Seeing this, Impa's mood has faded as well. Perhaps fertilizer will help restore its lost splendor. Nourished with fertilizer from Princess Zelda, the plum tree returned to its full flowering glory. Impa seemed much cheerier too, as though the tree's energy was a reflection of her own. Impa gets a third special gauge, oh my goodness. Impa's just unstoppable now. For the future of Hyrule, from the very moment he learned of the volunteer army, King Rome has been eager for a chance to train with the fledgling militia get some supplies to ensure his training is effective I am stronger than ever before swinging his claymore with the soldiers the king refined his two-handed sword technique his majesty looked forward to forging a bright future together with the volunteer army King Rome gets an extra Y combo. Okay. Also, this stable has stuff for me now. Hey. That's strange. I bought all the stuff before, but I guess that uh, I'd left the game running for enough time that it mm -hmm. changed, I guess? I guess I'll make some amount of sense. But I still need more materials, so. Medicine is the best medicine. Well, duh. As the calamity draws near, monsters are har harming more people than ever. There's a shortage of helping hands and not nearly enough medicine. Gather some materials with healing properties. What fate grants me, the people of Hyrule were much more prepared for uh, emergencies now that they had medical supplies. Plus, some of the residents of Castletown ordered offered to help administer treatments. King Rome gets an extra heart. Perils of Mount Hylia. King Rome plans to push his body to its limits with a grueling climb to the summit of Mount Hylia. Because of the snowy weather at the mountain's peak, he'll need some materials to keep warm. With bags full of cold weather supplies in tow, King Rome safely climbed to the summit of Mount Hylia. Surveying the kingdom from a high on high, he thought of a measure to, 
uh, to keep his people safe. King Rome gets an extra X combo. And we also get the climbing boots. Cool. Woodcutter's discipline to keep his body in shape. King Rome likes to train with the woodcutter. Sometimes he is out chopping lumber until dawn. Provide some supplies for those late nights camping out. I am With plenty of food to last through the night, King Rome was able to focus on the work at hand and his skills quickly improved. King Rome gets an extra Y combo. Very nice. So much Y combo now. Okay. Needs of needs a splash of dot dot dot. It needs a splash of what? A cook it's a cook is fretting over a soup a sweet soup, trying to figure out what's missing. What can you bring that would add just the right touch? Some fresh milk maybe? Good going. After you gave the cook uh, what you found, he found another ingredient that was missing. Love. What truly satisfying dish can be made without that? He thought you uh, he taught you the recipe and thanks. Of course it's got the hearty radishes in it. <laughs> of course it does. Gonna need to what well, what's moblin, okay, so I'm gonna need to actually do some challenges before that, and I don't need to track that because it's just fairly simple. All the heartiest seafood. To do her part for the soldiers fighting Calamity Ganon, a nutritionist in Zora's domain wishes to create an innovate, innovative new dish. Something hearty using seafood from distant regions. I seem to have improved. By combining hearty salmon, salmon and from the north with hearty blue shells, snails, from Luran Village, the nutritionist created a, a sumptuous seafood dish. Its rich flavour instilled morale in all who ate it. Sardin gets two extra hearts. Okay. Now, I think, let's have a look at King Rome's training. The, oh, it's 49. He's level 49. I guess I'll just go with it. I need to keep storing up rupees. Press CR to switch between Hermit and King... Uh... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Gooses? Each for form uses different attacks. Press the art following a strong attack to charge go I gooses and deal additional damage at the same time. Anything else that it wants to tell me? I guess not. Let's go in. So I'm guessing this is gonna be kind of like Link with the... Oh my goodness. Oh, that's cool. So I can... I can do that a whole bunch, and then, okay, that's cool. So I can look like, I can look different and play different depending on, that's, that's just cool. Let's use our special since there's two piling captains right here we need to defeat 300 enemies. But that's not going to be too hard since we're already halfway there. That's a tough act to follow, but we'll do our best. You better. I am the king, and I declare that if you do not, I will be mad at you. Come on, so close. Oh, he's just dead. Cool. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Oh, so good. King Rome is just wonderful. Plays like a dream, and this is only level 49. Oh my goodness. We haven't even leveled him up that much. He needs a lot more good stuff, like more special gauge. Oh my goodness, we're almost done with this challenge. We just need a few more knockouts. 
And I can see why this particular challenge is in such a small area. Because because it's a keep, it's a small area and can be closed off. But the outside of this area is just a huge open field, basically. So, in terms of level design, you probably don't want that. Defeat Link. Okay. Link, you can't save Hyrule if you're dead, so I'm going to get rid of you. I must be the hero. This will truly test... Um... Stuff. Uh, let's get him. Stasis, please. Oh, I... That's a shame. Oh, well. Ow. Bad Link. Sit. Oh my goodness, that was actually pretty good. Ow. Not for... Oh, everything else though. Not for normal fights. There we go. After all these years, I still wear the crown. Very nice. And we reached level 50 from that and got some more weapons because we need more weapons. Weapons is good. Okay. That opens up something else. More challenge and also more side quests, which is good. Let's buy some hydromelons. Yeah. And let's buy some swift carrots. Mm. Okay. Ooh, we can buy some more things over here as well. Just so nice to do a challenge so you can buy more stuff for side quests. Smother wing. Very nice. And everything's just opening up. Roast and relaxation. You hear that the Goron Hot Springs at Make Marker 7 of Death Mountain will soon be open to the public. Make to make sure the tourists can reach the spot safely, give them something to keep cool. The Goron Hot Springs were an instant sensation. Folks came from far and wide to relax and rejuvenate. The mo the memory of all those happy all those happy, smiling faces fills your heart with warmth. Oh, wonderful. But first I'm gonna buy more materials because apparently I need them. Since I used them on something else, I need to buy some more. Basically. Okay. Ancient core. Might need one more. Off to the hot springs. As a reward for hard work, the blacksmith guild is taking everyone to a hot springs to to a hot springs to relax. What could they want to take f to enjoy the stream steaming hot water more? Find it for them. The blacksmiths from the guild liked their trip to the to the hot springs. Even more thanks to what you brought. Their uh, burly brawn is back in top shape, and it seems they're all gleaming too. Increased chance of great success in fusing. Oh, is that just a random thing that happens when fusing weapons? Is it just has a chance of being really good for the fusing? Well, that's going to be difficult to keep track of then. Training at Lulu Lake. The Lionel of Polymus Mountain has been defeated. Opening the way for the waterfall climbing workshop at Lulu Lake. Pick something up to pre prepare the students for their first climb. I shall the, next the workshop was a huge success, with many of its attendees coming away as waterfall climbing pros. Sidon inspired by the students, uh, Tennessee, uh, redoubled his own training efforts. efforts. Sidon gets an extra X combo. How's this going? 86%. Not far away now. Anything else I need to buy? Doesn't look like it. Let's go over here. 
Party for the leafy spirits to blow off a little steam after battle. The Koroks are planning to throw a big dance party. The festivities are bound to go late into the night. So bring something that will light up the forest. There we go. After the after their energetic all night dance party, the Koroks went out like a light. Princess Zelda burned some soothing in incense to ensure their dreams were as sweet as could be. Hestu gets an extra special gauge. Oh my goodness. Let's see, what else is... Did I get everything over here already? Apparently. Anything over here? I don't think I need any more materials. I just need trophies. I'm getting through this a lot faster than I realized. Wish I could buy more monster parts though. Royal inspection. With an eye uh, to the climactic battle ahead, King Rome plans to inspect the gar garrisons in each region. Procure some gifts to make the occasion less somber for him and the troops. I am than the gifts brought some good cheer to King Rome and his soldiers. With their morale improved, the training went very well. They seemed ready to fend off a whole horde by themselves. King Rome gets an extra special gauge. Those are doing alright. Scars of the Calamity. A village that was devastated in the Calamity is suffering from a widespread famine. To help restore the town, bring some food for vendors to sell in the local marketplace. There we go. With the local marketplace once again stocked with groceries, business began again in earnest. The people fed and ready to work set, a, set about the long process of rebuilding their town. King Rome gets an extra heart. Okay. Hungry, uh, hungry asceticism. Master Koga is going to prove his toughness, toughness by taking on a test of willpower. Face Fasting, of course. He'll have to eat a big meal beforehand. The meatier, the better. Am I even allowed to be this strong? Master Koga made it, made it through his fast without a single slip up. To celebrate, he treated himself to a sumptuous post fast feast. Master Koga's X combo increases. Big moves to boost morale. Master Koga is worried about the recent uh, down turn of his in his lackeys morale to remind everybody who's in charge he needs some supplies to practice nay to perfect his secret technique well, look at that. after uh, rigorous training master koga was able to flawlessly execute the secret technique awed by their chief's dedication as well as his perfect form the Yiga's morale greatly improved. Master Koga gets an extra X combo, which is probably good. So that one can be upgraded as well. The wonders of Choo Choo Jelly. Ev evidently, that a little trickle of liquid that comes out of squ squashed white Choo Choo Jellies has cooling properties. Maybe the Gerudo could use this to beat the heat. You gave a little white choo-choo jelly to everyone in Gruda Town. Grateful and much more comfortable, the local Vi banded together to build a new road, improving relations with other regions. Ruju gets an extra two parts. So, there we go, and Gruda levels up. You got token of gratitude from the people of Gruda. Those items will actually probably help with other side quests as well. Speaking of which, the Mari... Exchange. Merchants from all over Hyrule are gathering to meet some of them for the first time. And to exchange trade information, the host needs a few things first, so do what you can. The host needed a few things to impress the guard, the guests, and with your help they ha held a great gathering. Merchants exchanged vital trade information. And Hyrule will truly benef benefit from it. Discounts in West Hyrule 10%. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, is that all the side quests available at the moment that are flashing? Looks like it. Okay. Well, anyway, that is it for this episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.